Hey, people. Chapter 6. The control room. Oh. Okay, now, let me just go ahead. Okay. Let me see. Where exactly where we're going? Where exactly are we going, Dove? I need you to drop me off at a friend's place. What kind of friend? The kind of friend, the kind of, the kind that has information for me. Girl, what the, now, maybe you should stop acting like a jealous boyfriend. Morning. Are you seriously texting and driving right now? I'm driving and reading the text. There's a difference. I reached over and smacked his phone out of his hands into the floor. What the hell was that, Dove? Texting and driving is so stupid, Sean. I was, it don't say that you were just reading a text. Now, will you drive me to this address? I like to get there in one piece, preferably. Preferably. Give me some kisses. Nuh uh, no way. You're not going in there alone. I don't need a babysitter, Sean. Plus, I have a friend waiting for me inside. What kind of a friend would have you meet them in a place like this? Will you just let me out of the car, Sean? Car locks quick. Did you really just lock me in? This is this all seems too sketchy. <laughs> I don't want going in the building in that building. Sean, let me out right now. You're unbelievable. Are we having a problem here? Yeah, Jordan. And that's my cue. Later, Sean. Okay, because I was to say, are you going to move or you just going to stand there and stare at this man? Crazy bitch. Is this really where you're staying? <laughs> right, I'm like, her bitch, are you really staying in this shit, girl? It's really not that bad, though. Tell that to the rat I just saw crawl across the bed, <laughs> across your bed. I thought you were making decent money now, you know, doing whatever kind of business you do. I am making money, not enough to give me a place. Plus, this place is rent free and I got a secret place set up in my uh, uh I got I get a secret place to set up my equipment what kind of equipment follow me sugar Ugh. god knows I hate this man calling me sugar child what the hell is all this bitch you high tech like uh fucking the navy bitch okay you some kind of mob boss now <laughs> No, nothing like that, Dove. Then what the hell is this? And why are you standing stuck in this sketchy building? I wasn't lying about being it being rent free. This place has been abandoned for years. Doesn't mean I don't have the resources to fix it up and make my make it my own personal kingdom. So you tricked me with the first round. You should have seen your face. I thought you were living like some street <laughs> change order. <laughs> Girl, dog. Uh, Deli, you scratching me. Um, I know group homes and foster homes are bad, but they're better than that room. Hell no. Nah. Were you worried about me, <laughs> Dove? No, girl. Whatever. So, what's all this about? What is all of this? This is my control room. Usually it's filled with my workers, but they got the night off. Oh. You really have people working for you? I'm in high demand, sugar. Stop! Boy, shit, look. <sighs> you should know this by now. What did you want to see me for? I found some more information on your mom. You did? What did you find? It's actually information we found out about her past before she had you before she before wait well, even before she met your dad what is it we found out she spent a significant a significant amount of time in the juvenile detention center in texas texas are you sure pretty positive that's weird but what do, does it tell us who hasn't spent time in juvie most people do <laughs> <laughs> what was she in for see that's the thing her files from there have been completely sealed off 
Not even a crack to open. Them. Wait, and not even a crack them open. Uh, that's strange. Why would they be sealed off? My records are sealed. Are also sealed off. Who would go through the trouble of sealing off records at public eye access now? I wonder if the social service office would have my records. No clue. All I know is that an Elizabeth Kennedy spent four years in a juvenile detention center. Four years? Nobody ever gets four years. They do for really bad things, like murder. Murder? Are you crazy? You didn't really know her, Dove. You you don't know what she's capable of. Bitch, this bitch clearly just, uh, bitch. Four years, bitch. Is there anyone that can break into her file? I'm the best in the business. No one could do this but me. Then do it. I don't need, I need to know more, uh, Jord. Not George, bitch. These tiny diesels aren't enough for me. I'll keep working on it, us. But I can't make any promises. Call me when you've got something useful. You're welcome. Not well, bitch. She pays the cost to be your boss, honey. The next morning, tang. It's been a few days since my meeting with the Jordan, and there's been no new information on my mother. Uh, the days, they days, uh, the days have been passing slowly and they're all the same. School, work, and bed. Every day, nothing else. Today's finally the weekend and I've decided to go to the social work, well, to the social service office to check if they have, and see if they have my file. What should I wear? Let's see. Eh. Mm, let's let's see what the other one looks like. Mm. Okay, girl. Yeah. Look at more that. That was cute. Good morning. You seem to be in a good mood this morning. It just feels nice to have a day to myself. No work or school. I bet. What are you playing with with your free day? I want to tell her I'm going to the social service office. It'll make her feel anxious and she doesn't deserve that. Um, say I'm hanging out. I'm just going to hang out with Sierra, a friend from the diner. That sounds like fun. You'll be home for dinner? Sure, whatever. Social service office. What can I help you with? I'm here to see Carol. She's in a meeting with someone else. Well, someone right else. Do you know when she'll be done? No clue. Thanks for your help. Uh, we gonna wait a little bit and see see what we gonna find. There's a magazine over there on the table, girl. Ten minutes later. This is taking forever. I give up. Thank you for coming to me. No, she wants to be done. Is that? Chill, bitch. Thanks for everything. Is that fucking chill, Dove? Are you ready? Bitch. Why the hell is Jill here? I knew that bitch was a dirty street rat. You don't usually make appointments with me, Dove. I'm usually the one tracking you down. Is there something I should be concerned about? Everything is fine with the rose. I actually have a couple of questions for you. What can I help you with? Was that Jill Bright Banks I just saw coming out of your office? Yes, it was. I didn't think you saw her. It will be hard not to. Her ego filled the entire room and I nearly suffocated. Always one for the dramatic stuff. <laughs> Why was she here? You know I can't talk about other clients with you. So she's a client. Which means she's in some kind of trouble. I don't only deal with trouble. What can I actually help you with, Dove? Or did you just come here to question me about other people? Yeah. Do you have all of my files? And like any notes from past schools, foster homes, or group homes. 
I'm sure my files is as big as the, the magazine I was reading in the lobby. Why are you so interested in your file all of a sudden? I just wanted to see what was in it. You know, what kind of information is in those thick packets that everybody, that every foster home gets about me? Your file is actually not here. It's not in our office. What do you mean? Your file is, uh, lost. <laughs> we lost it when we moved into this building. So you're saying I don't have a file here? You do, but it's only from the last six years. Your file be from before that was lost in the move. Can I at least see that one? Of course, let me go get it. She lied, bitch. That was a total waste of time. There was nothing interesting in that file. Just old ARC projects, my juvie rest, and old report cards. I'm guessing that if I was able to see it then, so it was the headmaster trial. So if it wasn't, if that wasn't enough for him, he must think there's something in the other part of my life. The lost part. I have to see what Jordan can do about that. Six years ago when I, when I, when the, my new file started, which means anything from the time before I turned 11 is missing. I don't understand nothing worth mentioning happened before I was 11. Just a bunch of foster homes. What does Headmaster Charles possibly think could be in there? But more importantly, why the hell was Jill talking to Carol? I don't really want to go back to Rose's. Hello? Oh. What are you doing right now? It depends. Come down to the hotel and bring a swimsuit. A swimsuit? Mm, whatever could we be doing. I'll see you in a bit, Dove. <laughs> Pretty cute. The great hotel, baby. No. You ready for some swimming? Let's do this. Well, your swimsuit better be cute, so girl. Okay, it's cute. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's pretty, uh, it's really pretty out here. I don't remember the last time I went swimming. The water feels so good. You didn't swim a lot as a kid? There weren't exactly a lot of opportunities for swimming. He shot me a, a, a quizzical look. And I could tell he was trying to figure me out. I still haven't told him that I'm a foster kid. I was more comfortable around him when I, th when I thought he was a poor kid from North Philly. <laughs> now that I know his dad owns a hotel and he's a rich kid, I'm a little more conscious around him. Especially right now. All right, I don't know if that's because of him being rich or because he's standing awfully close to me without a shirt. <laughs> Are you ever going to tell me more about yourself? There isn't much more to tell. What do you want to know? About, uh, how about the fact that you live in North Philly but go to a private school on the far side of town? It's really confusing, isn't it? My foster mom is a teacher at Bridgeview Parrot. Foster mom? I didn't really... Did I really just say that out loud? Yeah. I guess the secret's off the bag now, bitch. The cat's off the goddamn hat, bitch. Oh, yes. Rose is my foster mom. We're your real parents. Don't you dare touch the list, sir. Whew. My father died from cancer when I was five. My mother walked out... On me long before then. You've been in foster care for 12 years. Sounds about right. I'm really sorry, Dove. That must be really awful for you. Well, it's not the greatest time of my life. I don't need your pity, though, Killian. N I'm not pitying you. I just wanted you to know that I'm sorry. What the fuck are you sorry for? You didn't do anything. <sighs> he really wasn't pitying me. I could see it in his eyes. For well, once in my life, someone wasn't feeling sorry for the poor foster girl that couldn't find a family to love her. Are you happy with Rose? She's alright. 
Better than all the other foster homes I've had. Were there a lot of them? I think that's enough about me for today. Of course, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push you. You didn't. I'm just not a fan of talking about myself. I get that. That's all I ever seem to do. Everyone in this town wants to talk about Killian Gray, the golden child with a dark reputation. I would like it if everyone continually... De well, how would you like it if everyone con continuously defined you by your past? It happens to me more than you think. Nobody wanted to adopt the foster girl who... Whoa. I'm not telling him <laughs> about what happened with the Allen bitch. He doesn't need to know everything. A foster girl who what the? It's just families who want to adopt aren't looking for a five-year-old. So you've got quite the reputation, huh? Smooth transformation, duh. Um, when I was growing up, everyone expected me to be the perfect child. What do you mean? I started getting into a lot of trouble. Trouble with alcohol and many girls. Well, in girls. Many girls. I could tell he was really torn about <laughs> torn up about all of this. I can spot a liar from a mile away and he was not one of them. He was ashamed of his past and it was written all over his face. He clearly didn't want to talk about it anymore and I wasn't going to force him. <sighs> he was off in another world right now but I wanted him to know I was there for him. I put my hand on his arm. His face instantly changed and his smile was back. Man, that smile could light up the darkest of rooms. You look really pretty today, Dove. Is that because I'm half-ass naked? I'm pretty sure I look pretty every day. <laughs> You're absolutely right about that. Girl, that stiff-ass hair. Bitch, stresses me out, killing. Oh, shit, bitch, who that? That's your father? You, oh, no, your father would like to see you. Now. Who the fuck is you? Can I call you later? Sure. To be continued. Alright, people. That's that, girl.